All right, so today we're going to be designing a pretty neat logo in Inkscape. So let's get started. Let's click File and Document Properties. We're just going to adjust our canvas size now. Let's go 600 by 400. Perfect. All right, we can exit out of that. And I'll zoom in. You can hold Control and scroll to zoom. Perfect. All righty. So now what we're going to do is lay down a circle. There you go. Ooh, got a big stroke on there. So I'll click Object, Fill in Stroke. And we're going to get rid of that stroke. Click the X. There we go. All right. So now for the fill, we're actually going to do a gradient. So uh, see our colors here. Um, you see these nodes on the gradient. We're going to click and drag these just to adjust. There we go. All right. So now we're going to change the colors. So I'm going to click Edit Under Gradient. And we'll see uh, our first color here. So let's just change that to darker red. That should look good. And then our top color. Make sure the alpha channel is all the way up. There we go. All right, perfect. All right, so far so good. So now what we're going to do is create a glossy sort of effect. So we'll need a white oval. We'll just something like that. We're going to resize it. There we go. And then we'll just a... Uh, Something that looks decent for now. We'll resize it later also. Alright, and what we're going to do is do a gradient. Alright, and we'll adjust the nodes again. To give it that, uh... There we go. Alright, so, you see it coming together, but we need to adjust the white a little more. So what we're going to do is click the uh, Edit Gradient button. And what we're going to do is adjust the alpha channel a little bit, just so it looks a little more believable as a gloss. Alright. So far, so good. And now we can click the whole thing and then just resize it a little bit. Good. Uh, Alright, and we'll make sure the opacity here for some fine tuning. We'll just turn that down a little bit. There we go. Alright, so, so far, so good. So now what we're going to do is draw pretty much bubbles in the middle. So we're going to do circles. Uh, let's get a color we can see here. There we go. Alright, so just start with a perfect circle. You can hold control to uh, draw a perfect circle. All right, there we go. Um, so what we're gonna do is just uh, resize, get a little bigger, and we're gonna just gonna do smaller bubbles on top, kind of like a, you know, a bubble, a set of bubbles or something like that. There we go. Let's do a little smaller one on top. There we go. Resize. All right, and then just one more. Just uh, copying and pasting here. And just a little bit smaller one. Okay, and now we're just going to fine tune, uh, kind of move them around a little bit to give a kind of a symmetrical ish look. There we go. One more. It's getting there. Just the top one here. There it is. Perfect. All right, so now what we're going to do is uh, change it to, uh, we're going to change it to white. So let's place it over and then let's, uh, just size it. There we go. Uh, I'm going to click Object and uh, Group. There we go. So now it is one object. So now we can change to white. Perfect. And uh, now you want to use the Page Down key just to bring it down one level of the layers um, just so it's under the shine. And then we're going to adjust the opacity just so you can see the gloss shine through the white a little bit. It adds a nice effect. Perfect. All right. So well, it's looking good. So, uh... Now we're actually going to make a uh, shadow. So let's just copy and paste our base circle. And we'll just resize it to shadow size. Um, change it to black. Crank up our blur a little bit. And crank down our opacity. To, uh, to you know, whatever you feel like looking at, you know. Alright. I'll uh, change it to 18. There we go. Just a little, little adjustment. Alright looking like a shadow. Now you want to hit the end key and that'll bring it below all layers. Perfect. Alright, so we move that over. Now we're going to put our text down. So our company name is called Suds. And, uh, so let's uh, put that down. We're going to change the font. We'll resize it a little bit. Um, but then we're going to go up to text and text and font. And choose a font. We're gonna do. I'm gonna do the print. There you go. Stego print. Excellent. All right. So it looks good. Now we need to just to letter spacing here. Just double click on the text box and then just 
drag the arrow down. There we go. All right, stretch it out, kind of the size. We're gonna shrink our little icon here. There we go, a little smaller. There we go. All right, so let's just center it to our canvas here. So now we're gonna copy and paste this. And what we're gonna do is put uh, the exact same thing behind the uh, main text. So uh, let's get our gradient color. All right, so let's adjust the uh, nodes once again. And then we're gonna add a big stroke on it so it'll bleed behind the uh, original suds text. So we'll do the same color. We'll do it to stroke style and we'll do something like 20. There we go, it's massive. Um, that's good. So just need to pretty much put it behind it. Actually, I think our gradient is, there we go, yeah. Just adjust the stroke gradient still, there we go. All right, so now we can put it behind. So we'll hit our end key again, and that will send it behind all layers. We'll place our first text, and we're gonna change it white. There we go. So now it comes together, perfect. Alrighty, so just resize, position, to, uh, okay. All right, there it is. Pretty much completes it. Um, you can do, you know, a couple variations, of course, if you like. Um, let's see, we can make it sort of like an icon. You can always just uh, move things around. We'll put that down here. Uh, I'll drag this on top. Delete our shadow. We kind of have, you know, to fit certain different things. You know, that looks pretty good. If you really want to, we could. Uh, just use the uh, icon and we can delete our text entirely. We'll just stretch this baby out. There we go. We got a pretty neat icon here. Nice and trendy and iconic. So, hope you liked it.